Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate diversifiable risk uh, also called as unsystematic risk or a stock specific risk. So uh, first I'll uh, show you the equation to calculate the diversifiable risk and then I explain this with a small illustration. Stock specific risk or diversifiable risk is quantified in, uh, in terms of standard deviation. That is we measure this in terms of a standard deviation. So uh, to calculate the standard deviation, standard deviation that is your uh, stock specific risk, this equals to square root of a variance where uh, variance equals to summation of x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 and then uh, your x bar is summation of x by n where this is equals to standard deviation or a risk measured in percentage terms then you have a variance this is and this is a uh, variance is a squared values squared values of deviations then comes your uh, x bar this is a mean now I solve this with an example return we measure in x terms so let us say you have a returns of 10% 12 14 16 and 18 then percentages and this is arbitrarily I am taking these values so first what is that you need to calculate is you need to calculate an x bar that is a mean so your x bar equals to summation of x by n so first we do the summation of x here so summation of x is and this is a 70 so this then your x bar is 70 by number of observations are 5 so 5 70 divided by 5 this gives you 14 the next step is x minus x bar so x is your written and your x bar is a mean our mean is 14 whereas x bar is individual values now first is uh, your 10 minus 14 this equals to minus 4 then uh, 12 minus 14 equals to minus 2 then 14 minus 14 equals to 0 then 16 minus 14 this is plus 2 then 18 minus 14 this is 4 then your x minus x bar whole square values so this equals to 4 4 is a 16 then to the 4 0 4 and 16 16 16 32 plus 8 this comes to 40 so your summation of x minus x bar whole square is 40 then to get your variance we are saying that uh, variance this equals to summation of x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 so here in a variance calculation of a variance we use n minus 1 not n so our values are 40 by 5 minus 1 so this is 40 by 4 equals to 10 and now to get the standard deviation we're saying that standard deviation equals to square root of variance so this equals to square root of 10 uh, this comes to so your uh, standard deviation is 3.16 and standard deviation is denoted in percentage so your standard deviation is 3.16 percent so this is how we calculate the standard deviation or stock specific risk standard deviation measures variability in stock returns now what it indicates is the higher the standard deviation uh, the higher the variability in the stock prices and when there is a high standard deviation and high variability in the stock prices it becomes very difficult to predict the returns of the stock now in this example uh, which is which i illustrated uh, before I shown you with a few exam, uh, few observations like there are only five observations but in practice we use a lot of observations maybe if you are analyzing a stock for a one year then you will have a 250 observations or if you are analyzing a stock for a one month then you are, have a minimum of 20 observations 
and the return values are also not as a, in a discrete form they may be in a decimals like a, a 4.28 percent or 5.6 percent minus 12 percent so in that case uh, calculating the standard deviation manually makes it very difficult uh, to overcome this problem we can solve the standard deviation or we can calculate the standard deviation using microsoft excel now in my next video i'll show you how to calculate the standard deviation and a variance using microsoft excel and at the end of this video i am providing few examples for you there is a uh, i gave you a written series of uh, five stocks uh, named as a b c d e and uh, i also give the answers for that that is a mean value its variance and a standard deviation thank you thank you for being with me